Hey, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because at the end, I'm gonna compare the Dakota Lithium to the Amped, give you my final thoughts. So stick through it, should be a good one. Today we're gonna be looking at the Amped Outdoors 12 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, this battery is probably has been the most requested one uh, so far in this video series. Um, full disclosure, I do have a relationship with this battery. However, um, I will not hold back. If there's something I don't like, and there's stuff in here I don't like. Uh, I've been, I've had conversations with Amped for a few years now, and uh, there is no low temperature char uh, charging protection circuit in this battery. Uh, that's something I've had conversations with them about. They are again, they are looking into uh, changing their design in the BMS. If it happens, great. If not, well, I tried. So um, I've been worked. I've worked with this company for a couple of years now. I'm not gonna try to sell you on this battery. I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. And if you want to buy it, go buy it. Um, if not, that's fine too. This video is not a sales video. I guess is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not trying to sell you on this battery. Uh, I'm going to give you my honest opinion and then it balls in your court you can do whatever you want with it with that information so first things first we're going to get this guy charged up uh, this battery is 100 bucks 12 amp hour I will say for a battery this size this is the highest capacity lithium iron phosphate battery on the market that I know of in this Vexler battery size. So, uh, yeah, let's get her hooked up to the charger and I'll check back in with you guys after we're charged up. We'll just do a discharge test. You know, what? right now we're just gonna do a short circuit test. Uh, these batteries they come 30% charged, so we're just gonna do a short circuit test right now. Go by amp meter here. What we want to see is that, well, we, we don't want to see anything happen there. So, uh, you got all zeros there. That's telling us there's no current going through uh, this battery. So, their short circuit protection feature in the BMS does work. All right, guys, we're on the charger. After it gets done charging, we will put it on the capacity tester. Do me a favor. Why this thing's charging? I want you guys to tell me what battery you think I should do next. Leave me a leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any uh, opinions about the videos or what I could do better, let me know. I'll take some constructive criticism. So appreciate it, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, got the battery all charged up. We're gonna put it on this capacity tester here and we're going to discharge at a rate of 2.4 amps now that is 0.2 c take uh 12 times it by 0.2 you get 2.4 amps and that's going to be right in line with your high-end uh fish finders your garmin live scopes um, so yeah that's what we're going to do and then i'll check back check back in with the results after this guy gets done running, and let's see, start. And we're discharging. Stick around. Hey guys, while this thing's discharging, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for watching this. You know, we've, we've gotten so many messages from the ice fishing community uh, that we're just curious about batteries and so many positive comments and I mean, just a lot of support and I just want to say thank you. Um, if you're new to the channel, you know what the, the best thing to do to, it, it, if you're getting something out of these videos, the best thing to do to support us is hit that like button, share it with your ice fishing friends, share it with your uh, kayak fishing friends, and uh, yeah, that's what really, really gets us going. And uh, you know, the more people that sees this, the, the better it is for us, and it just really helps support the channel. So, like like and share subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet i appreciate it guys all right guys i'm back capacity test just finished up 
happy to report we got 12.134 amp hours out of this battery so uh, uh, it's rated for 12 amp hours so we uh, it, it pulled the capacity that it was advertised which is important to me um, so thumbs up there uh, watt hours we pulled uh, 154 watt hours this thing's rated for 154 so right on the mark there all right guys time to void the warranty let's take a peek inside I'm excited I've never seen the inside of this battery so I, on these batteries I like to break down the cost per amp hours and we're looking at um, eight dollars and 33 cents per amp hour compare that to uh, like a Dakota lithium Dakota lithium is about 10 bucks an amp hour so a little bit cheaper per amp hour um, but yeah let's let's get this guy cracked open all right guys first look here we go what is that oh I've never seen that before they uh that's desiccant packets so that that absorbs moisture that's a good idea I've never seen that before huh right so it looks like this thing is siliconed in doesn't smell at all like the last one that's really cool Uh, battery pack wrapped up in shrink wrap notice how those wires are soldered to the terminals so that's that those are will never come off not like you know that last uh, that last battery I did if you haven't seen that video yet it's pretty much a turd 12 volt turd in a nice shiny box uh, it's like a Chinese cheap Chinese battery if you haven't seen that video yet I'll post it right up here yeah we got a little bit more surgery to do to get this thing out I'm trying to figure out the best way to attack this So right away, <clears throat> I like how this pack was secured in there. A little bit of, sil little bit of silicone or caulk. Uh, did not go overboard. Then they have these little pads here. That padding tape for a little bit of cushion. Um, so not bad, not bad at all. pull this shrink wrap off and see what we're working with so this is what your lithium your amp battery looks like inside your case uh, as you can see th this stuff right here this uh, sticky paper this is called fish paper it's uh, very sticky and I like that their whole case is the whole battery pack is uh, wrapped up in it so it looks like their BMS is on top. I will say putting that fish paper on top of the BMS, um, probably not something I really like just because of heat dissipation. But you're only pulling like 10 amps max with this battery. I think 10 or 15. 15 amps max with this battery. Those wires are, are plenty thick enough to handle that load. Uh, but if I had to make a change to this battery at this point in the video, I'd say 
don't cover that with fish paper. This thing's wrapped up better than Christmas presents. So I've got her all unwrapped. These are uh, 18650 cells. Looks like we have looks like we have a 4S 6P configuration. Uh, these these six right here on top, these are in parallel with each other. These ones here are in parallel with each other on bottom, these six on bottom. These six are in parallel with each other, and these six are in parallel with each other. These are in series. These are in series. Nope, those aren't in series. These are in series with that one. Okay, these ones are not connected on this back side, so we've got this. These six cells here are in series with this cell, this six. This six is in series with that six. This six is in series with that six. This little white thing, they, I know they do not have um, low temperature charging protection circuit. So this is gonna be your high temperature uh, discharge protection circuit. The balance leads are soldered on. I would have liked to have seen um, insulation between Series 1, Series 2, Series 3, and series S, S4. And it would just had to have been insulation going across here. And then that's, that's what I would have really liked to have seen. So I know the question on everyone's mind, what pack's better? The Dakota Lithium Pack or the Apt Outdoors Pack? And, uh, well, let's break it down. And these are my opinions. My opinions alone. No one's paying me to say anything. Um, the only way this channel is supported through is through you guys watching this. And hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button. Um, the other day I broke down the Dakota Lithium 10 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. This guy right here did very, very well. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll post it right up here. Um, I really liked that battery, really liked the amp battery. So let's break it down. Uh, neither battery had low temperature uh, charging protection circuit. I, I would have loved to have seen that in, in one of these two premium batteries. Um, especially since I broke down a, a cheap Amazon battery and it had it and it worked. Um, Again, I'll leave that video up here. Uh, so I know it's possible. I'm hoping these guys, um, these battery companies take note and get that changed. I know Amped is looking at it. Uh, I don't know if Dakota, I thought they had it at one time, must have done away with it, but I could be wrong. But anyways, neither battery had that. Uh, the Dakota battery, they have their series cells isolated from each other they actually have all the cells isolated from each other which is fantastic but more importantly their series cells um, are isolated they're not touching so that is uh, very good in my book uh, amped does not have that but amped has their balance leads arranged in a way where they don't cross each other and they're still isolated from the cells and you want that because your balance leads are positive the case on the cells are negative and you just have a little bit of shrink wrap in between them so you really want an extra barrier um, the dakota battery they did have that extra barrier but they're crisscrossing and that will uh, potentially cause a short um and they're kind of just i mean they're crisscrossing so it is what it is i, I would have liked to have seen them um, route their balance leads a little bit better so amped gets that point if you will um i mean build quality wise with all things considered i would say we're we're tied um both of them are all all the connections are soldered and when i'm talking dakota lithium i only mean they're made in china uh the one with the made in china sticker on bottom because 
I did a review on a 7 amp hour that was made in the US and it was absolute junk. Uh, if you haven't seen that one, check it out here. Uh, let's see what else. Capacity wise, Dakota is a 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, it sells for 100 bucks. The amped is a 12 amp hour, so more capacity, also 100 bucks. Um, so you get a little bit more bang for your buck. Both these batteries are, are fantastic, but because of the capacity, um, I, I'm, I lean towards amped. So that's just my personal opinion. Um, if you disagree or have your own opinions, I'd like to hear about it. So uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.